guys, welcome back to another lesson in Swift for Beginners. In the last video, we covered arrays and dictionaries, and in today's video, we are going to be diving a little deeper into numbers, and more specifically, be covering integers, doubles, and floats. So let's start by getting rid of all this array and dictionary stuff. And let's just give this a title of numbers. So what I want to explain here is the fact that there are three types of primitive numbers in computer science and hence in Swift. And I'm going to do this with an example. We're going to say A is 1, B is 1.00, and C is 1.00000001. So the difference here is this is an integer, this is a double, and this is a float. An integer in computer science and in most languages has a maximum number limit. A double is a integer with two decimal places. A float or a floating point is a number which can have many more decimal places. There is, in fact, a limit to this, but generally, no one ever hits that limit. The reason you might want to use one versus the other is as follows. If you want to represent someone's age, maybe it makes more sense to do it as an integer. If you want to represent a price that something might cost, let's say 199, you might want to do it as a double. If you want to represent on your iPhone screen the width of a particular box, you might want to do it as a float. So it's important to understand the difference of these and the fact that these are three different types, in fact. So this is an int. This is a double. And this is a float. And it's important that you understand that we cannot do something like A plus B. And the reason that we can't do this is because they are different types. So how do we go about doing this? Because A is an integer and B is a double. Well, one option is we can say we want to convert B to an int and then add it to A. But this might still be yelling at us. In this case, it's not, because it knows that this is a double and can be converted to an int. But if, they, if this was a different type of value, this conversion actually returns an optional. Similarly, instead of converting the double to an int, what we can do is we can convert the int to a double. My point here is you need to understand while well, these are all numbers, a number is not a type. The type is an integer or a double or a float. Similarly, all of these can be of type optional also. So let's say we wanted to get access to the actual value of b, we could do something like if let value equals b, come into here, and we can do a print of value. And down here we'll see the actual value. And if we if you notice actually, even if we put stuff in front of this, in our print, it'll only show us, well, in this case it shows us all of it, but if you were to actually use this in your application, you'll actually have the number be cut off after two decimal points. That's the most important thing you need to understand. Um, and with that being said, I'm just going to end the video here. Uh, pretty quick lesson, but nevertheless, very important. It's important that you understand the differences between these numbers um, when you look at code in a professional setting or write something yourself. Um, leave a like, comment, like, follow, subscribe. I'm more than happy to help furthermore. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson.